Hey guys, Fabulik here today and welcome back to Prison Architect. Oh my god, it has been a long time since I last did this. The last videos I did in this game were about escape mode, that's when the game first came out. We're now at update 6 I think this is. Uh, a lot has been added. Um, I've forgotten how to play the game, but the reason I came back to this was because uh, I had been putting it off and off because there wasn't really anything that was really grabbing my attention. There was nothing new that I really wanted to come back and play again, but then... The, the man himself that got me into the game, uh, Official Stuff Plus, if you haven't heard of his YouTube channel, please go check it out. He does some awesome videos and he's really cool. Uh, anyway, so I, that's how I first discovered Prison Architect. That's how I learned the game. I learned it from him. Then he started up a new series on uh, Prison Architect, a new build series. And I was like, oh my god, this is taking me back. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so, like, I'm watching his series. I'm so excited. I really want to play it again. So thank you. Thank you, Official Stuff Plus, for bringing me back. You brought me back, and I'm excited to play again. Uh, but I'm going to create a new prison, because this was just playing in the background. So, since I last played, we can do prison gender, male or female. I guess I should do a female one, because I haven't done that before. Uh, and we can do our different wardens, which change the way the game work in, in slight ways. So we can see the most balanced individual on the planet, he does uh, his job and nothing else. So that's just standard play. Uh, this one, the lobbyist, so... Has friends in high places and make sure the more easily controlled prisoners end up coming his way. Halves the likelihood of receiving prisoners who are violent, lethal, volatile, deadly, or fighters. That's pretty cool. Uh, Rita. Halves the likelihood of prisoners of, of being stoical or fearless. Prisoners are suppressed twice as quickly. That's pretty good. Uh, JW Periwinkle. Guard dogs have 50%. I like that one. That's pretty good. So you can find uh, tunnels... They have a greater chance of finding tunnels earlier and quicker. Uh, the pacifier reduces your overall temperature of your prison, making inmates less likely to cause trouble. I also like that one. Um, Alright, get a small cut of the resale value of each piece of contraband found. Prisoners found with contraband will be fined directly from their savings. That is interesting. Uh, I don't I don't even I don't think I've ever played with the whole store slash contraband system yet. I don't even know if I've done that yet in this game, so I, I like the idea of either the tunnel one or maybe the temperature one. Uh, I'll go, I'll go tunnel. All right, so fog of war, yes, generate forests. Uh, that's just kind of annoying. I will do lakes because I believe the game has weather now and lakes and water can actually flood. So that'll be an interesting challenge. I want to try that out. Buildings are just kind of annoying. So no, fairly conditions, obviously. I don't really like gangs. I never liked them. I don't really want to do it, but we can turn that on later in the gameplay if we want to. Uh, events. So add extra challenge. I don't know, I don't even know what events are, to be honest. I presume I can turn that on later. I will turn on weather, and not unlimited funds. Alright, we're gonna go to small prison. Right, okay, well... <laughs> okay, so we gotta build around that. This would be an interesting challenge. I wanna see how we go with this, because... I just wanna play the game, there's no, no hard and fast rules, I don't know when the series will end. Uh, but I think this should be pretty interesting. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, if we go to extras, and then... Uh, is it map settings? Yeah, we can- Okay, so we can enable events and gangs. So I don't- I don't even know what events are. So if you can let me know in the comments, that'd be cool. Uh, but I'll leave it off for now. But anyway, we're probably gonna be planning, mostly. So I'm just gonna pause up now. And so, right. So when it rains, this can flood, I think, maybe up to about five tiles or something. So we don't want to build too close, essentially. Uh, but I think- So that's a bit of what- This is gonna be interesting. Why don't we just say- that's kind of where my wall will be. We'll just build a wall mostly around the prison. Let's go all the way down here as well. Actually, how how big is this these days? So that's uh, 79. Oh, okay. Did I, yeah, I didn't go from the top. Fair enough. Oh, there we go. So it's, it's 80. So we want to go down 40, which is there and there. So that should be the middle. One would assume 39. And we also have 39. Cool. Alright, so that was going to be our middle. Let's just say that will be our entrance. There you go. Beautiful. Whoops. Beautiful. And we'll mess around with that in a bit. Uh, but as for our fence, it will just go around like this for now. Oh. Yeah, no, that's right. Because I built the fence in a different spot. That's fine. Uh, okay, so hang on. Other thing i got to do. i got to get money. Whoops. Okay, can... Can... Get out. There we go. Get out of that tool. Right, I need to get money. So... Basic Detention Center, that's probably a good one to go for. Administration Center, probably also good to go for. So we've got a little bit of money to start off. We've got 55,000. Can I make the UI bigger in this game? I realize it's a little bit smaller than it normally would be because I play at 1440p. Uh, I would love to make it bigger, but I don't know that you can. Graphics. 
Okay, well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I can scale the UI, but anyway, that's what it's going to be. So hopefully, I mean, on mobile, it's probably impossible to read half of this stuff, but hopefully if you're on a computer, you can read it. Uh, good. <laughs> good. Now, so what do I need at a prison these days? I, I don't even, so don't they have, there's like, I remember there being a reception. So that was something that was like where prisoners come in. So why don't we go? I don't want, okay, hang on. First of all, rooms. Let me get rid of deliveries and garbage. And we're going to move those. So we're going to go delivery. Oh God, where the hell are deliveries? Why? Oh, all right. I don't know why. It's still really hard. I, I After all these years, I still can't find stuff in this menu. It is so hard. I'm sure I'll get back in the swing of it. But uh, for now, I'm just going to do it like that. There you go. Delivering the garbage should be over there for now. Cool. Right, because we really don't have a lot of room in this prison. So I can't foresee this being huge. Now, what we'll do is I think I might plan out the cells first because... If we, okay, I realize that this could be fairly risky because they could tunnel out of the prison. But I don't know how else to, I guess we could put something else on the edge. Maybe if we do it, see, ideally, I don't know what, let's see if we can get cells sort of in the middle. I think if, if there's a building, water won't flood into it. It's if there's a door to the building, they can go. All right, let's, let's let me try planning here instead. Because if we, the, the more central I can get these cells, the, the better I will, better I'll be off. So we can... I can fit these cells in, in an interesting manner. And I think I'm okay with that. I don't think I can build there. I need, I need to make sure I can actually build in half these places that I'm doing this. Uh, I got a nice wide hallway there. I don't know. This is interesting. I'm, I'm seeing what I can do. Uh, because I want them, I want these cells to be as close to the, uh, the, cause I mean, the thing is this prison has to be compact. It has to be fairly freeform because I guess this is a huge challenge. Normally, I used to build everything uh, super, like, uh, just all over the place and freeform and crazy. But I might... What I might do instead of... No. See, I think that should be a cell there because otherwise it's just kind of wasted space. Uh, we could make some of these cells bigger if we wanted as well, but I don't know. Uh, so this will come down this way. All right. Uh, now, I might go up, get a cell there, there. That means I can get another one in... No, see, I don't want to put one there, though. What can I put? Th I don't know. Cleaning cupboard? I don't know. This is this is such a weird layout, but I will put more cells. But see, that can go. This can go further that way. So I'll actually shuffle these along. We need to save all the space we possibly can. All right. So, and then I might as well do another row here. And this, I think, this is as far as I will go in that direction anyway, because we're taking up majority of the the sort of center of the prison here. So what we'll do. We have those two cells there. That's good. Oh, okay. I could I could just do it like this, actually, couldn't I? Have these two like that. And if I wanted, maybe even just get rid of those two and just leave that as a hallway that goes around to the other side. And then you could also walk through. I might I might just widen that, make it double wide. That one will stick out a little bit, but whatever. Uh, oh, I guess we could, even if we just rotate that cell, so it's kind of like a weird shape in there but i think then we have a nice clean hallway that comes through there so i think that's quite good um all right these don't really need to be double wide because then like the the hallways but because there's not going to be that many prisoners walking in these areas i don't think but we can always adjust i think I, i'm pretty excited about this actually it's really weird shapes <laughs> i'm pretty excited about this i think i might block that off there and then we'll i'll see how many prisoners we can fit in this area and we'll go from there. Uh, I might leave that open. So I might actually just, yeah, just do that. Or should we shuffle? Hang on, let's build. Okay. <laughs> Inherently with uh, with weird shapes, we're gonna have all this kind of crazy stuff. Now, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do graded prison cells. All right, some of these might, cause I'll probably have windows in them. So some of them will be slightly better, but I'm not gonna do any palace-like prison cells like I have done in the past, but. Uh, I don't know. I just I just don't feel like we need those. What if I build this way? That's not going to help me out. Let's not do that. Uh, whoops. So that's going to go there, and then ah, I've kind of I've built this wrong. I really should have. Yeah, I should have come from this way. All right, let's do it this way. So we'll come down. All the hallways in here are fairly weird, but you know, that's just the way they are. So that'll be like that. 
Obviously get rid of those little bits. Right, so how many... Look at that area in there. I kind of like it. It's kind. It's got a bit of character. I don't know if I can build there. I really should see. Let's check. I can. Good. All right. And there? Yeah. Good. And there. Good. As long as I don't put any uh, doors going out to the water when that floods, we should be okay. Right. Okay. So, fairly interesting cell block design. I'm, I'm, I'm quite liking it. I really, really am. Uh, what we could do is get solitary... I don't know, somewhere up here, because we've got a little bit of space there. I think we could fit it nicely in there somewhere. Well, nicely, it's solitary. Right, let's see how many we've got. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. I realize I could have just counted most of that in twos, but whatever. So 33, I think is what I landed up on. Interesting number. Not a whole lot of prisoners, but I think that's going to be my starting point. And actually, I kind of like these areas would be good for like phone booths or something. So we'll have obviously doors around here. I don't know why that hallway is too wide. Maybe I'll, I might shuffle all these down because I've kind of changed the way I've done this. Uh, yeah, I'll shuffle these down because that's kind of unnecessary now. So we'll do that. Get rid of those two. Whoops. And get rid of that. Cool. All right. And that will be a doorway. Now, uh, that probably doesn't need to be like that. So, what I want to do... Now, can I build on that? I can't build there, so I've got to go above that. Okay. Planning. So, that'll be a wall there. Uh, yeah, I wanted it to be... Because I, yeah, I want this hallway to be solitary, I think. Whoops. Uh, I guess we can go like that. Give them pretty miserable cells. I, I don't think we're going to need that much solitary though, are we? I always overdo it with solitary. That's quite a lot. I feel like we probably don't need that much. Especially because it's such a, like, that's the number of prisons we have. Let's even, let's just take it right down. Let's just go down to three. Even that's still quite a lot. So I think we'll be good. That'll be solitary. On a nice little offshoot shape there. And then maybe, so we got... What, 33 was it that I got to? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Uh, we can do showers up the top. Because uh, we have a nice big hallway that feeds up the top, so it wouldn't get too bogged down. Uh, so why don't we see if we can do that. So we're going to go... If we go 10... Uh, 10, 10, and then another row of 10 there. So that's kind of how many showers we would need if we turn that into a shower block. Uh, and if I could just... Cut it off like that. So, whoop. Oh, I know this is kind of confusing, but I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with it. So that'll be the shower block there. Eh, it's pretty big. It's pretty roomy. And a little doorway there. Cool. All right. So that's an interesting building. It kind of looks like a, that kind of looks like a fist, you know, like, <laughs> it's like a thumb out the side. It's like, see, it's like your left, your left fist. You see that? That's your fingers there. That's your thumb sticking out. And then a turtle shell, for some reason, on, on my arm. Hmm. Kind of interesting. I like it. Uh, okay, so... All I've done is cells. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we need to do more stuff, though. <laughs> Believe it or not, there needs to be more stuff. Uh, Alright, so I want to have... So we... Canteen and kitchen, and we need a lot of stuff. Well, why don't... Hang on, so what do we need for a basic detention center? Holding cell, shower... Okay, well, why don't we get a holding cell in? Because that's probably a good idea. I think that would be good for overflow in general anyway. Uh, I was thinking somewhere... Because maybe near the front. So, like, around here-ish. 8 by 9 That's a pretty good size holding cell. It's pretty big, actually. So, I like that. We'll do that. Uh, I'll probably have a double jail door there or something. I guess I could probably put it in the middle. Make more sense. Um... And then, so, shower, yard, we can chuck a yard in somewhere. We need a kitchen and a canteen. So, let's get the kitchen and canteen sorted. So, if this is going to be our entrance, let's just build a hallway there for now. Just representative. Let's just say that goes to there, and then, I don't know, joins onto that building. Sure. Cool. Uh, and then, obviously, we have doors somewhere on the front of the prison. Uh, I don't know if this is all going to be indoors yet. I'm still kind of playing around with it. We'll see. I guess that should all be a hallway if this is going to be indoors. I don't know if I want this all to be indoors, though, is a thing. Because it is a very nice lake. I guess this could be one complex, and then you could go outside down here or something. But then we really should have a hallway 
here that sort of gets to the end of the building, right? Uh, if this was all going to be indoors, because we don't want them to have to walk through the cell blocks to get to get out. Okay, why don't we do that then? So this can be a hallway, and then we can have some buildings here. So if we go, so we want storage near the front, because that's where we put extra food and all that. So maybe we go, I don't want storage too big. Like that, and then we could have a kitchen there. Is that too big for... Because you got, I got to remember, this is a really small prison. Like, there's not a lot. There's not going to be a lot of prisoners, at least not to start off with. Um, we will probably expand. I, I want to expand, because this is pretty damn small. Um, so why don't we say that's the kitchen then? Because then we go cooker. So we can get... Hang on. So that's ten. So we can have a whole row of cookers along there. And, like, fridges there. Um, and then... Problem is, there's not really an easy way to get the ki other kitchen, the canteen. We get rid of that one. We could have a s and that one. A sink there, door there into the canteen, door there from the storage. So it's like direct feed from the storage, and then I don't know, door there to the main hallway. I don't know. Uh, that will be doors to the prison. So this will be like staff only in here. Uh, storage, I guess, should probably have a door somewhere. Sure, why not there? Uh, okay, so canteen. Now we have thirty-three. We'll aim for 40. So if we have eight people on a table, we only need five tables, don't we? Um, so that should be pretty easy, hopefully. Hang on, let's go. So serving tables are five. Uh, these don't really fit in very well. They, they do, but... It bl See, that's a very nice space to put serving. I'm, I'm tempted to just block that off. Have a kitchen door there, and then they sort of walk around. But then that seems like really inefficient, right? But it fits the serving table so well. Hmm. I don't know. We got two serving tables. I don't know. It's kind of a, it's an annoying space to work with. I got I got to be honest. Right, let's go three by four. So we need what five tables, like this, and then. Ugh. Again, it's an annoying. It almost fits into this space, which is really annoying. Um. See, if I could make that the canteen and not any bigger or smaller. Damn it. Ugh, this is this is a perfect space, but also imperfect. Now, if I do this, can my staff still fill that table? I guess they can. So we could just have like a little staff only section back. Well, I mean, it won't be staff only because it'll be technically the same room, but it'll look good. Maybe. If we do the tables this way, right? For... Then we can go over this way, just fill in that space there. And unfortunately, I have to... We end up with a weird wall there. Which is not ideal. Hmm. Yeah, that's not ideal. Uh, I guess we can... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do I need those, those showers there? Because if I just move that wall, I don't think I need that many showers. So if we, well, what if we just make it bigger? Yeah, that that works too. Oops. But I was thinking that maybe I wanted a hallway to go further through. Because right now I've completely blocked off the rest of the uh, anything really, haven't I? So ideally, I want that to be a hallway, like this hallway to continue, so we can get over there. I think that should be enough showers. I think, especially if I put some more there. I think that's enough. Okay, so if that's the canteen. Uh, door there. We'll have a door top and bottom. So then people that come this way can go straight in. And uh, hopefully that doesn't get too crowded. It probably will, but we'll see. Right, so kitchen and canteen. I'm just trying to... Let's just get everything built that we need for this. Uh, at least two... Okay, so we, if we just build what we have now. That's kind of what we need. Concrete or brick? Let's go concrete. So, we want to go through there. $7,000. I'm, I'm pretty much committing to this design right now. Uh, normally, I would plan out the rest of the prison first. But I'm going to take a risk and just hope that what I've built is going to work. <laughs> now that's going to need to go there. And that'll go over that for solitary. I guess that hallway is going to be inside as well. So, why not? We'll build all that. And I guess that can be inside too. Right, so we're going to build all of this. We have $22,000 left. We're going to have a nice door in the front of the prison. And we're going to let them build that. So let's see what happens. Here we go. 
All right, so once that's up and running, I will try and build the... F oh, you know what I need to do? Let's turn off clothes. Turn off intake. For the love of God, do not have intake on. But we're still making money, so because we're still getting the government grant, so we can actually... If we did have a problem, we could just let the simulation run for a while to earn money. So there's always that. But here we go. My guys are doing a, a super job. Uh, they're getting all that done. What I should also do, because we do need a yard for this as well. We should build a fence, which is $3 a square these days. Oh, but then I don't know if I'm going to build on that wall, which I, I guess it doesn't matter. We can just build over the fence, can't we? Well, how much does it cost? Like $57? Yeah, I think I think that's fine. I think $57 is fine. Princess can't swim, can they? <laughs> I hope not. All right, let's go all the way around. And up to there. Cool. All right, so that will be the fence going all the way around. Uh, so that will close in this area at least. Uh, you won't even be able to get outside, so that's probably a good point. I'll put a door somewhere soon, but anyway. So we're cutting down the trees. At least we're getting, uh, getting like logs as well. That's kind of good. We can sell those. Um, yeah, that'll be good. That'll have some money. We got $8,700. Ooh. Yeah, because I guess when we buy all the lights as well. Well, if we can do basic detention center, that should be okay, right? Right? Build two items, we do two offices and warden and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we're still making money, so that's good. They take a while to cut down the trees, that's for sure. But anyway, they're, they're getting on with it. They're almost done, not too much more. There's a few trees to cut down, then we should be good to go. So I guess while they're doing that, we might as well have a look at what we could do next. So if we want to do offices, uh, we need to have... How many offices do we need? I know psycho... I remember psychologist needs one that the prisoners can get to fairly easily, so... I'll not worry about the psychologist just yet. Uh, so we need an office for... Uh, who do we need? Gunner, janitor, dog handler, sniper. That's something I haven't used before. Warden. So we need warden's office, sh uh, chief office. I was about to say chef. A chief office, a foreman office, psychologist office, accountant, and a lawyer. I don't even... Do we even... Do we need a lawyer? I know I need to unlock them. So I need six offices. Um, but one of them won't be in the same area because, uh, just because it doesn't need to be, really. The psychologist. I guess we could put the psychologist sort of office on this section there, right? Oh my god, look how perfect that fits in. Almost perfect, anyway. It's annoying that it doesn't. Alright, anyway. So, that let's just say that would be... See, it's kind of annoying that it doesn't fit in, doesn't, isn't it? There and there. I guess we can have cleaning cupboard there. That'd be useful. So we have four offices there. And then maybe... One more... It's kind of annoying because I wouldn't be able to get a door to it. I guess if I do it like that. And then... <laughs> so annoying. These shapes really don't fit in well. I guess that, oh, okay, the warden's office can just be there, because I was just going to do the, so I wanted to do a staff room, basically, is what I was trying to do. So if we have, like, doors to these offices there, for example, that's our little office complex. Uh, I don't know, maybe a laundry? I don't know if that's big enough for a laundry, to be honest, but it's only one way to find out. So that would be, like, a little office area, which would be good, so I think they're all still building the walls, which is fine. Alright, so we need to do, build a holding cell. Oh, I've gotten rid of my holding cell, haven't I? Ah. Right, where can I do a holding cell? Could do it up the top. No, I don't want to do it up the top. Uh, I guess we could do it here, turn that into a holding cell, then have the staff room just a little further down. So if we make the ward's office the same as everybody else's, you know, equal rights. There we go. And then this could be a staff room here or something. That would have a hallway there. Yeah, I don't know. So let's just say that would be the staff room. Okay, good. Door to office there. That would be a holding cell. That's not even, unfortunately, but we can do a single door. That's fine. Uh, so if we go concrete, I'll just build... Oh, see, I need to build... I really need to build... No, you know what I need to do? I just need to commit to doing something. Right. Uh, we don't even need to do a any cells yet, but when we get cell block A, we will. So, But for now, let's not worry about it. Let's go walls. Concrete wall. All right, let me slow down time here. So we need a kitchen and a canteen. So let's build these walls for the kitchen and the canteen. Because these need to be done. I don't know where the power generator is going to go yet, but I'll figure that out soon. 
Right, that'll go there. We need a shower as well, which will be up here. There we go. I think these are still free. I think I still have materials, which is good. <laughs> right, uh, I guess we can even just turn in... I'm wondering when I'm going to start paying for this. I think at some point, right? Um... There we go. Alright, so I was going to turn probably that one into a holding cell for now. Uh, I'll leave that open. So like that, like that, and then like that. So I'm going to use the start of some of our cells. Like that. Thankfully, most of the lights are in good positions, but obviously we we'll have to change some of those. Right, room, I want to go uh, storage. Because that will be storage. Uh, right, we're going to have a kitchen in there. We're going to have a canteen in here there you go uh and then i might yeah i might as well start designating some of these places so we know what they're gonna be uh i will need a shower up over here like that right and then we're gonna have a not a cell we want a holding cell will be in there for now and then those will be cells which will be beautiful our first cells are oh, isn't that nice right so those will go there um, cool. Alright, so, uh, that's kind of all we need to do. And a yard. This should all be enclosed, so we should be able to just mark a yard out here or something. Um, right. So, let's get the basic stuff in. I'm not going to go all out and buy everything, because, frankly, we just don't have that kind of money. Uh, <laughs> so I'll get one cooker. Uh, which way does this go? That way. One fridge and a sink. There you go, that's all we need in there. We are running pretty damn low on cash. Get a table. A couple of benches because they're pretty cheap. And we'll get a, one serving table to start off with. Right. Okay. So. Let's just fast forward here a little bit. Get that done. I like how they're just kind of just doing random tasks. Uh, building holding cell. Yeah. Working on it. I guess we should have some doors at some point too. Shouldn't we? Uh, also. I will cancel... The door there, because that's just where I'll put... Because we're going to need a cell door there anyway. So I'll just do that for now. So that will be the holding cell. Alright, we, we need cash, so... Oh, look, it's got all my stuff in there, that's cool. I've got some logs, I should probably just sell those, right? Nice, we got 6,000 bucks. Because, um, <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't need the logs anyway, so we might as well just sell them, right? Uh, I mean, sure, we could keep them around... And sell them when we carve them up. But why is there... There's a root in my walls. Uh, there we go. Cool. Alright, so we have completed one. We've done the canteen. Hooray! We've almost done the kitchen as well. Once uh, we get the other bit in. And then that will be counter. I'm glad you don't have to power anything up. Because I don't have a utility room yet. So, working on it. <laughs> Alright. So, get that in there. That will be the kitchen. Nice. The shower is up here. So, we will get a door for that. And we'll get some... What am I doing? Shower heads. Only 20 bucks each, so... It's only $220 to do that, so I'm, I'm fine with that. We'll get those ones done for now. Oh, yeah, there's a whole... Isn't there, like, a whole... Heat... There's, like, a heat system in this game now, isn't there? How do I view it? Oh, I probably need to unlock some... I think you know, unlock logistics, don't you, to see it? I don't know. Right, build a yard, build a holding cell. So, holding cell, almost under a toilet and a bench. Uh, and I'll put these in strategic locations... Well, I'll put the toilet in a strategic location, such as right there, because that's where one will be anyway. Uh, <laughs> and then I guess I'll put a bench in here somewhere, and then we just move it to the, the kitchen, the kitchen, the canteen when we're done. So that'll go there, and then we just need at least two yards and a yard. So let's go rooms, and we're going to go for, not a nursery. Oh, that's right, women can have babies. <laughs> women can have babies! Oh, well done, me! It's my first health class lesson. Uh... No, what am I looking for? Yard. Why is it so hard to find stuff in here? It's always been like this too. It's right there. It's always been like this too. There we go. Right, hire at least two guards and two cooks, which is the kind of annoying bit because that cost me money and I had to pay them as well, but at least we're still making a profit, so that's kind of okay. Um, we should be fine. Good, we got a bit of money. Right, uh, I will remove that room though, because that's kind of pointless. Right, let's have a look at grants. Uh, we should have unlocked 
Some more stuff. When do I get cell block A? Oh, I've got to unlock finance. Okay. So I guess we should probably do administration center because we've got to unlock finance anyway. Right. So let's build out um, this whole area. And there. So that will be all built onto there. Right. Rooms. We're going to... No, rooms. Materials. We're going to get a, 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 a door right there. There you go. So that is... This is going to be my actual holding cell, which I guess... In retrospect, I could have just waited and done it here, but whatever. I needed more money. Right, so once we do this... Okay, is there another one I can get that's quite easy? Uh, build a medical ward, hire at least to see... That's... I need money to do that. Um, so, unlock maintenance, unlock blah blah blah, hire a foreman, hire at least two janitors, hire a gardener. I don't want to do that just yet. Hire a security chief, so see. I mean, I can definitely do all of these. It's just I'm not ready to do them just yet. So like, I don't want to. I don't want to rush these. I mean, I could just accept one, but then if I'm not going to do it next, because I don't know what I'm. I don't know what the plan is for the rest of this prism. Sort of just. In case you can't tell, I'm very much winging it as I go along here. So <laughs> we're kind of just building it and seeing what happens. All right. So got my two chefs doing absolutely nothing, but that's fine. I'll, I'll keep you guys around. That's fine. All right. So once this is built, uh, I will. Do the next little bit. Um, oh, there it goes. Good. Right. So, then we're going to get materials. We're going to get concrete walls. Let's build all of the offices. It also didn't actually put a wall on anywhere where that fence is, which is kind of annoying. So, I have to do that myself. That's good to note for the future that it will not automatically build me a wall. Right. So, let's do these. And then those two, well, that little section there is going to be blocked off, but we'll figure out what that's going to be in a bit. Right. So let's get those walls put in, please. And let's get out some offices. Here we go. Like that. That one. And that one. I guess I probably shouldn't have designated all of them, because I don't want a specific one to be a specific person. Which I don't really care. To, whoops. Don't really care which one is which, to be honest. I realized also all of those really didn't need to be staff doors. I probably could have saved money and used a regular door. Because we already have a staff door. And to be honest, I don't even know if they're any stronger than a regular door. Other than it just telling prisoners that you can't go through it. I don't know if it does anything else. I've never really thought about it before, but there you go. Right, let's uh, build an office. There you go. This guy can have a desk there. I don't know who's... See, I guess this will be the warden. Sure, why not? He can be here. Oh, we haven't done a... We didn't do a prisoner reception. Maybe we could do it in there then. They sort of come through there. It's pretty small, but I think I think that'd be fine. Because I mean, and I don't think you you don't need a reception either. I, I don't think so. I guess we don't have to do that. Uh, I want to get that. Oh yeah, I could I could totally do bunk beds in these, couldn't I? In these cells, and then I could double my capacity. But I think I think we'll wait to double capacity to be honest, because I mean, there's no rush. And if, if the prison works well, then yes, we could always put bunk beds in. But maybe we'll start out without bunk beds, because I think that might not be a good idea. Right, so we'll build one and two offices there, and then we're going to hire a warden. I don't understand why you can't just choose your type of warden in here, to be honest. Like, when you actually go to hire them, you should just be able to pick one of them. Uh, anyway, unlock finance through bureaucracy. I will. Uh, if I knew how... Uh, did they move it? Oh yeah, it's up here, isn't it? Yeah. Right, still looking down the bottom for it. Right, finance, we need to unlock. Um, micromanagement gives you tools to micromanage. Okay, well, I don't really need that, do I? But I do need kind of all the standard stuff. Security, psychology, health. Prison policy, I'll do that later. Right, so he'll start unlocking some things that we... Oh my god, we're low on cash. Uh, <laughs> well, if we can do this, that'll be good. Um, so if you- oh look, it's gone all grey and desaturated. Oh, are you guys stuck out there? Or are you just chilling? Can I get you to- I don't know why you guys are there. You guys shouldn't be stuck there. You should be able to walk around, right? You guys are definitely stuck in here though, because I know I don't have any doors. Um, oh, that's expensive. Uh, actually what I'll do instead because we don't need an enclosed yard anymore. Why don't we just go materials, demolish wall. Let's get rid of that little fence section there. Because that's only $3 worth of destruction as well. So now those guys can walk out. I don't know. I, 
You guys seem like you're stuck, but at the same time, you shouldn't be. But that's interesting. I'll do that for you. Click. No one can get to that, apparently. Even though they most certainly should be able to, yeah. Oh, here comes the person. Right click to cancel. Control left click to make high priority. F to follow. Oh, I can follow the dude. Come in and do it. Here he goes. So can you guys now... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they couldn't walk around. Hmm. All right. Uh, objects, I will sell that. There you go. Uh, and then I will put that fence back because we need that. So if someone can come and do that, that'll be great. Uh... Is that my guy? There he is. Nice. Now walk in or not? Oh. Are you serious? Why? <laughs> You're out. Sacking. Right. Um. So once I hire the accountant. Oh, we got a little bit more money here too. Nice. All right. So I, I would like to hire a workman. Oh my God. $500. Well, I technically just made that selling logs. So whatever. Uh. Okay. So... Yeah, so yeah, I've unlocked that anyway. So right, we need to get an accountant. $5,000 grand completion. Very nice. So now we can have a look in here. Uh, right, we need to get... We definitely need to do cell block A. That's something we definitely need to do. So that will give us a lot of money to work with, which is very nice. And we definitely need to do... Maybe we'll do a short term. How many days is that? I can't remember, because that just gives us free money, doesn't it? Well, what gives us... I guess we're gonna we're gonna do health and well-being anyway, right? So let's do that. Right, so we need 15 cells. Let's work on that now. So we've got six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. I don't know why I counted like that. That was weird. Twelve. And then if I do this little block here as well. Right, so let's go in here. Uh what I should do. Probably get the doors in as well. And remove that uh that bench that's in there as well. Oh not remove it, but move it. Right, so those will go there, and then materials, we're going to go walls, going to do all these ones as well. Throw through the middle. Looking good, looking good. Uh, kind of confused what I've designated and what I haven't now. It's really hard to see. <laughs> Nighttime does not help. Right, let's get some doors in here. We've got $30,000, so we're doing pretty well, I, if I do say so myself. We're still technically making money every day as well, so that's also handy. Now, uh, those doors have been put in, so I will build these walls as well. That bench is still in the way. <laughs> should probably move that. Uh, dismantle. Don't dump it, though. All right, so that's gone. Good. Build a wall there. Nice. All right, rooms. We're going to get rid of that holding cell. And we're going to turn those into cells. And we're going to get out. Not that. We're going to go toilets. There and there, there, there and there. Because obviously we need to complete all these cells. We can't just have rooms that say sell on them and have that count, unfortunately. There we go. And then we're just going to start off with standard beds. There you go. Good. Whoops. Uh, I always forget that you can just click and drag. That's also easier. Alright, so that'll be all those cells on. Once all that stuff is in. Uh, and we also have... Might as well just finish this off because it shouldn't be too much money to do that. There you go. I guess I probably didn't need to do that or waste my money on that anyway. Right, uh, so. Uh, oh, did I do it? Oh yeah, I guess I did. I've already done all the cells. All right, so that's good. So cell block B is for 50. See, we're not going to have 50 cells though, so that's kind of annoying. Uh... Prison maintenance and all that garbage. Alright, so what we need to do, build a medical ward, hire at least two doctors. So, we should work on that. But I'll leave that for next time. I'll leave part one here because we, we made pretty good progress. We've got an interesting shaped prison. We'll get to build all those cells at some point too. Uh, there's a lot to do. There's so much I haven't done. There's so many random rooms that I don't have. We definitely need to get a nursery though. Uh, I don't know where that's going to go. I don't know. It'll go somewhere. We'll figure it out. But that'll do us for this time, guys. So leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. And don't forget to check out my buddy, Official Stuff Plus, that I shouted out at the beginning of this video because his videos are awesome. He made me come back to this because I was like, damn, this game looks good again. I really want to play it. Uh, so shout out to him. Uh, but thanks so much, you guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.